Welcome to today's edition of the AII, watching stock news, deal tracker, and advancements in artificial intelligence. This is a special edition of the AII featuring an interview with Abhishek Dubey and Shashi Prakash, co-founders of Red Marlin Inc. Red Marlin is a deep learning powered fraud prevention platform protecting the world's leading brands from counterfeit activity. The company has recently announced a $10 million Series A funding round led by Tom Vest Ventures and Crosslink Capital. Uh, Abhishek, Shashi, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Sam. Thanks for having us, Sam. So before we get into the questions, do you guys each want to give a short sort of outline of your own careers leading up to the starting of Red Marlin? Abhishek, do you want to start things off? Sure. So I've been in cybersecurity space for 15 years now. The prior to Red Marlin, I was with Cisco's Talos Group, which is deep uh, threat intelligence group at Cisco. And I built machine learning teams, security research teams, and 24 by 17 uh, support team for Cisco's uh, Fortune 1. Thousand customers, and during my time at Cisco, I also authored one of the very first books on Android security attacks and defenses. Uh, have been very technical throughout my life. I came to US uh, and did my masters at Carnegie Mellon. All right, and Shashi, what about yourself? Sure, very similar background. I've been in cybersecurity business for more than ten years. Before starting Red Marlin, I was with Abhishek in the same room, group at Cisco, and uh, my round is in machine learning and security. So I've, I've built systems in the past for detecting spam, for example, at Cisco scale of billions of spam messages every day. Prior to that, I did my master's uh, from the Johns Hopkins University in, uh, again, with focus on machine learning, deep learning, computer vision, robotics. And before that, I graduated in India from the IIT and, and came to U.S. for higher studies. All right, guys, now give listeners a brief overview of the company and what led to its founding. Sure. Uh, so starting Red Marlin, like uh, we've been in cybersecurity for a very long time. And what we've realized working in cybersecurity industry that most of the cybersecurity products are reactive. And there's a huge dependence uh, on humans. And a lot of processes that cybersecurity analysts have uh, is, is manual. And both Shashi, uh, you know, uh, from him building machine learning models and me managing and building machine learning teams, we realized over the last few years, especially post-2013, when deep learning, computer vision really became mainstream, that for the first time, we can actually make uh, proactive solutions in cybersecurity. And that was really the genesis of starting Red Marlin. So we quit in January of 2017 and then started in March 2017. And the first thing that we did was building checkfish.ai. We wanted our machine learning algorithms to be tested and used by everyone and, you know, and have an API-based approach so people can start doing more and more automation. So focused on uh, two, two really key ideas, how we help cybersecurity teams and organizations do more automation, and how do we utilize deep learning and computer vision to, do, uh, to have pro- proactive detection and protection for our customers. Now, the company recently announced $10 million raised in funding. Can you tell listeners about this and what it enables the company to do moving forward? Yes, so we're very excited to get this round of funding. Uh, we had great some attraction. So our primary goal for uh, three, we have three primary goals. Uh, so uh, checkfish.ai is getting a lot of traction. People want to utilize our APIs. So we are going to be making checkfish.ai completely self-serve, where people from anywhere can come and sign up for API our API keys and start using our technology in whichever way they want to. And there are multiple use cases over there uh, from, you know, finding fraud uh, going out of your emails or imagine somebody's posting bad links on a social media platform you can detect using our technology. And just in the last uh, three months, we had 1.2 million pages on Checkfish. Second thing, and we want to capitalize on that. Second thing is uh, building our go-to-market team. So we are building, our, bringing our sales leader and marketing leader and expanding our engineering team. Third thing is we are adding more and more capabilities to our uh, what we call anti-fraud platform. We have built the first module of uh, this counterfeit fraud, and we are adding more and more things underneath that. So in the next 18 months, you will have some very exciting stuff uh, coming out from Red Marlin. Let's get into the technology side of it. How are deep learning and computer vision leveraged in the Red Marlin platform? Yes, absolutely. 
So Webmolly's platform uses deep learning and computer vision to detect fraud on websites in real time. And it does that by understanding the visual and textual content of the website. For example, uh, if you go to a fake or counterfeit site selling Nike's Jordans or some other shoes, for example, for 20 bucks, that's, that's not really possible, but these sites are selling them. And the way they do it is they create a very exact looking replica of Nike. And the, the platform that you build can identify objects on the site like logos, trademarks, and it can tell you that this is targeting Nike, for example. Along with that, we also analyze the natural language content on the website so it can understand the intent of the website. For example, if the site is selling uh, goods or shoes, uh, that's a very different intent compared to, let's say, a news article about Nike. Uh, so it can understand the intent, and with these multiple models, uh, we can detect that it's a scam and it's also the brand it's targeting. Not only that, the platform also takes care of automated takedowns of these bad sites once it identifies. And all this is happening in less than 100 milliseconds. So once we have gotten a screenshot and the text on the website, our machine learning model can make a termination in less than 100 milliseconds. And this technology enables us to find different kinds of scams. So whether it's like fake sites selling uh, Nike shoes or there's fake drug pharmaceutical companies or there's a crypto scam or a tech support scam, so right now we are able to detect 10 different categories of scam with that technology. Now, what is sort of the state of the online counterfeit and fraud space and what kind of market opportunities does that allow for the company? So uh, we believe there's a huge potential over here. So I'll start with a very recent example of Airbnb in the news where Airbnb had a lot of these scam listings on platform and we are seeing that out of platform. And another example I'll give you is the balance uh, so Binance recently had fifty billion dollars, fifty million dollars worth of Bitcoin stolen on that day. It's probably worth now close to eight to nine million dollars. Where the attack actually started from fake Binance pages, so phishing pages, which were sent to Binance customers. And later, bad guys actually used those credentials to generate API keys. Uh, so crypto is getting affected, uh, travel is getting affected, pharmaceuticals are getting affected, and then you have CPG brands like Nike and you name a brand. Uh, Ray-Ban or, you know, Ugg Boot, all, for every, each one of them, we see thousands of counterfeit sites every month. And then another interesting is the entertainment industry, where people are doing more and more uh, streaming of uh, online movies, which is also getting impacted. So with our technology, the beauty is the problem is horizontal across verticals. And with us, we can scale our technology to each one of these verticals you know, without adding hundreds and thousands of people. So we're very excited about the future of Red Marlin and how we can help customers uh, in different verticals and across different geographies. All right, guys. Well, that is all the questions I have. Is there anything else you guys want to add? Um, I think uh, checkfish.ai is our platform where if you receive any suspicious links, please go ahead and try it out and scan these links, and it can help you protect from these fake websites. And that's it for today's AII. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music. To learn more about Red Marlin Inc., please visit redmarlin.ai.